the G20 Leaders Summit. The finale to India's G20 presidency will see the world leaders and delegations from over 15 countries coming together in India's national capital. Of course, that means jam-packed hotels. According to sources, over 20 hotels have been booked in Delhi NCR to house the global guests. Several leading hotels in the national capital are preparing to welcome the G20 delegates in full traditional Indian rituals and put the spotlight on India's rich cultural heritage. We are here at the Taj Hotel in New Delhi, which is among the most popular hotels here and is likely to house some very important international guests. The welcome will begin with a traditional Indian Aarti. The Aarti ki thali at Taj Hotel has been specially curated in the peacock theme, representing the national bird of India. The guests will also be presented with stoles made by Indian artisans and necklaces made with chandan and tulsi. So the hotel is absolutely packed. Uh, majority of them are delegates. Uh, I could say a very high percentage. Uh, of uh, the delegates. First and foremost, the, the preparation that we are doing and is all safety and security related, which we are working with the local authorities. The welcome definitely will be uh, in a very traditional Indian manner, uh, giving them all the flavor of the Indian uh, hospitality. Well, what you see on my side is the grand uh, Maharaja table at the Taj Palace Hotel in Chanakyapuri which showcases a lot of Indian cuisines as well as international dishes. This table has been specifically and specially curated for the international delegates of the G20 Leaders Summit. Uh, joining me right now is uh, Chef Mushtaq who is the main man um, you know behind this entire table and the creation of the entire uh, entire spread over here that, we, you, that you see right now. Uh, uh, Chef Mushtaq can you tell us the specialities of this table? Our Prime Minister, he is focusing on millets. So we have created our dishes with the millets. We have introduced our thali. Apart from our Indian uh, traditional dishes, we have made dishes with the uh, millets over here. Like we have got a kofta, which is made from a jowar. We have got paneer, we have got uh, palak over here. We have uh, dal over here, raita. Then we have got a millet kheer, which is bajri ki kheer. Then we have got jowar ke laddu, bajre ki roti, biryani over here. Apart from this, we have got some sweets over here. You can see it's a ragi sweet, uh, ragi ke laddu. Then we've got pista uh, barfi over here. Are there some international dishes yes, as we well? Do. We have prepared a chicken preparation, which is a confit chicken with red wine juice. Then we have got grilled prawns. We have got a salad. It's a burrata salad. We have gramalata crusted uh, lamb chops. Then we have got a dessert over here for the international guests. Major hotels in the national capital region have been booked for the G20 delegates and especially the luxury presidential suites which have been booked for the VVIP guests. I am standing in the Taj Palace Hotel in Chanakipuri and I am going to show you their luxury presidential suites. So come in. The suite has two bedrooms, a dining area, a living room, a small study and a garden terrace. The suite is decked up with Indian cultural artifacts. While the Taj Hotel has not disclosed the room tariffs for the presidential suite, sources say the cost of presidential suites in any five-star hotel could be between 15 to 20 lakh rupees per day. One thing is for sure, hotels are leaving no stone unturned in meeting all special requests from the G20 delegates. With video journalist Akhilesh Verma, this is Shivani Bazaz for CNBC TV 18.